Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm going to introduce you to a new Hearns Hobbies competition. So we've already had three smaller competitions already. We started off with the uh, uh, 35th scale figures, and then we did uh, the Gundam SDs and the 35th armor. Now we're going to have a much larger, or I guess longer competition. We're going to have a one month competition for Copper State models. So Copper State models um, are some of the ones I have on display here, and um, I'll get into a bit of um, introduction in just a moment. Okay, so with the uh, Copper State Models competition, so who are Copper State Models? Well, Copper State Models started in 1996 uh, in America. Uh, they actually started in Arizona, and Arizona is known as the Copper State, so hence Copper State Models. Now, Copper State is now based in Latvia, in Europe, and they've been making some very nice uh, plastic kits. Um, they've got 48 scale aircraft, 32nd scale aircraft, and also some 35th scale armor, and it's all World War One. Um, Based. So with that, there's also accessories, such as some of these figures I've got on display here. The competition is going to involve all that. It's going to be a one month competition. It's going to start uh, on the 5th of November and it will continue on until uh, the end of the 4th and we'll announce the winners on the 5th of December. Okay, to enter. So you'll need to get yourself a Copper State Models kit. Now, Copper State Model kits um, are available from Hobby Rama in Queensland, Star Hobbies in New South Wales, uh, Hobby Tech Toys in Western Australia, Perth Hobby Centre in WA, uh, Models and Hobbies for You in Victoria, uh, The Hobby Man in Victoria, and also Hearns Hobbies, of course. So what do you need to enter the competition? So apart from getting one of the, the main uh, kits, you can put on any of these accessories. So the kit, of course, is going to be the main aspect. Uh, so they'll take up, say, 80% of the points. And then we'll also consider uh, additional figures that you add into it. And then the basing is also going to be very important. So the basing and also the quality of the photo. So, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time making a really nice model. It will uh, look really nice if it's well displayed. So simple ways of doing that would be you can even make a uh, diorama base. Or if you want something simpler, you could do something like the last winner, uh, which was a, an armoured uh, artillery tractor that was taken on the top of the instruction manual. So that sort of composition, angles, lighting, uh, that'll all be taken into consideration as well. But if you don't want to spend the time doing a full diorama base, you could always you know, like the instruction manual, that's very simple. Or even something like your cutting mat. So most people have a cutting mat, you could lay your model across here and take a very nice shot. Apart from that, if you want to put in a bit more effort, you can use a bit of balsa wood. So if you're doing a vehicle, you can cut it down to the size, so something like that. Put on a little basic uh, scenery, a bit of sand, a bit of grass, mount it on top and then take your photo. That'll be good as well. So the more effort you put into that, uh, the more we'll add points as well. So happy building.